And so it came back again last weekend. Racism in football, in its most vicious form in England, is back again, unfortunately. And we've got to talk about it. A player, Wilfred Zaha of Crystal Palace, wakes up in the morning to a torrent of expletives, disgusting language, racial attack on his person using social media. Now crowds are not allowed in the fields of play to watch games. Now they've resorted to social media. I've always said social media can be the bane of our society if care is not taken. So Wilf Zaha wakes up in the morning and wakes up to a torrent of abuse, racial abuse aimed at his person ahead of his match for Crystal Palace against Aston Villa. Unprovoked, just there. A day or so later, David McGoldrick of Sheffield United, another black player, wakes up and gets a torrent of abuse as well. Similar treatment. Okay, so he scored two goals against my club and it really messed up my weekend, but he did not deserve the abuse that he got. It's unfair. But that's not the story, because racism has been with us for a while and we're still looking for a way to get out of it. So that's not the story. The story, though, is that a couple of days after, an arrest was made. An arrest was made of the perpetrator of the evil torrent of abuse on Wilfred Zaha. And it was a 12-year-old boy. A 12-year-old boy. A 12 this boy was born in 2008. A 12-year-old boy with such explicit detail of such disgusting behavior and disgusting language being used on a football player. A 12-year-old boy. Seriously. But that's it. I did say on this platform some time ago about the culture of hate, racial discrimination, hate, prejudice. And I talked about the legacy of what we as parents are handing over to our kids. Our children now starting to feel that it is normal to hate. It is normal to be racist. And that is the biggest problem that we have got. A 12 year old boy, where did he get it from? Now that's where we have to ask ourselves questions. We have to ask ourselves questions on what we're doing. What are we doing for God's sake? What sort of information, what sort of legacy are we passing on to our youth? And we need to reflect on it. We need to be cautious on what sort of examples we are setting for our youngsters such that 12 year old boys will not be sending such disgusting racial torrent at football players. We really need to reflect. It is a sad state of affairs and yes racism is bad but we really need to work on the legacy that we are leaving for our young kids. And speaking about racism still, so the head of African football was being asked a question about racism very recently, about two weeks ago. And his answer was, it doesn't happen on African football pitches, so there's not a great deal we can do about it. Seriously, not a great deal we can do about it? Are we being serious here? Because it doesn't happen on African football fields means there's nothing we can do about racism? Are we being serious? Ha! Ah, no, African football. We need to wake up. What about the thousands of football players of African origin who are playing outside of Africa? We don't need a support network for them when they go through this kind of thing? Wilfred Zaha plays for Cote d'Ivoire. He's flying the African flag in the Premier League. And we don't think that we owe him anything because he doesn't play on an African football stadium. Oh, we need to be serious in Africa, for God's sake. We really need to get serious here. When the attack came on Wilf Zaha, Crystal Palace rose immediately in his support. We're behind you. We support you. 
Professional Footballers Association did exactly the same thing. And we didn't think that from the Confederation of African Football, we needed to have a support network for players like Wilfie Zaha to tell him that we're together, that we're with you, and if you need anything, we'll always be here for you. We need to make our own special within ourselves so that people from outside will find us special. Otherwise, this cannot stop. We need to get serious in Africa on this issue of racism. We need to stand up to the racists and we don't want to leave it to outsiders to fight our battles for us. Your comments will be very much welcome. Your feedback will be very much welcome. And also, please subscribe now. Can you subscribe now? Click the subscribe button. Thank you. And also ask request for notifications so that you'll see more of me in the future. Thank you very much.